Hello all. I'm going to be playing for you three different types of records. A Path A, Victor, and an Edison record on my Waddell phonograph table. So just on first glance this thing looks just kind of like any old library table. It has casters on it, as was common for the furniture of the day. And it looks like it has just a little drop leaf in the front. But I'm no table collector, so of course it doesn't act as only a table. It's a phonograph, and it's pretty has a pretty standard mechanism. All these parts are were widely available parts to buy from dealers like Acme or Jewel. Those were both very common uh, in off-brand phonographs. This is an off-brand phonograph, but it's very unique. A lot of the time off-brand phonographs have a very minimal value to serious phonograph collectors, but a lot of people, including myself, really like these unique ones. A little bit about the Waddell company. They're still in, mus in uh, business today, and they are uh, still producing cabinets. And this cabinet that they made is very solid, extremely solid, very well built, veneered in mahogany, with a very solid construction. Uh, it is really wonderfully done. There are, sorry for this light here, but you have six needle cups, all of which are labeled loud, used, medium, soft, fiber, and extra. I'm assuming extra could be extra loud or extra needles that are just, you know, random uh, and assorted, or, but uh, that's probably why they've omitted anything else, just saying extra. So, as is very common with off-brand phonographs, they have a universal tone arm. So, the reproducer can swivel back and forth in order to play Edison records, Path A records, or regular Victor, Columbia, and other brand records. So now I have it in lateral mode. Let me put this down here. And this has a little fun little feature. Crank stows away in a little compartment over there. And so when this isn't a phonograph, you can Use it as a library table, and then for its duty as a phonograph, in the crank goes. Very easy, the motor's right there. All the way wound up. See, I'm prepared. I'm going to play you a Victor record on this. Only a little bit of it, because of time's sake. I don't want to bore you. And after doing this, I will show you a fun little feature this phonograph has. It also has original record index, music table record index, goes up to 88 records. This holds 88 records. What What's interesting, however, it goes up to 88, but when you go all the way down here, this last one's missing, it, says, it should say 63, and then a 64. It starts at 65 for 12 inch records and ends at 86. You could only end up filling it to there, not there. So there's two extra records that are not accounted for. Interesting. And uh, here we go. I'll play it for you and you'll see this little fun feature it has. If all these features weren't enough. This is Lucky Kentucky by Paul Whiteman. 
So you're wondering, where's the... Watch this. Neat is that. All right. Next, I'm going to play a quick Edison record, and then finally, I will play a Path A record. So, using a Edison, well, not Edison, but four Edison records, Diamond. I'm going to play you "Falling" by the Stevens Trio. The Stevens Trio being Ernest L. Stevens, and I don't know who the other people are, but I'm not a musicologist, I'm only a phonograph collector. All that's needed to do is to switch your stylus or needle, flip your reproducer, and there you go, it's ready to play Edison's. It plays Edison's extremely nicely. Very loud, crisp, clear. seem to have misplaced my path a sapphire so I'll find it and do a part two sorry about that <laughs>